Because the estrogen patch doesn't go through the liver, I think it is possibly better for your tendonitis and for your joint pain because I found a research article that had this statement. So Hansen et al. found a negative correlation between tendon strength and HRT use following one-legged resistance exercise related to collagen turnover. So it had a more higher immature collagen cross-linking. The discrepancy could be partially explained by the observation that oral estrogen replacement influences liver metabolism. The estrogen patch bypasses the liver. This is why the estrogen patch also is a winner because it doesn't increase blood clots. That's right, if you have a history of blood clots, you can do an estrogen patch versus a pill. But specifically, oral administration may reduce circulating levels of insulin-like growth factor one, interleukin six, and that is all involved in collagen synthesis in physical activity. Now, this is a one-time study. We don't know that, but anecdotally, when I listen to women talk, the estrogen patch seems to be like glory came down, especially for tendonitis in the hip region. I know, that sounds crazy. I'm just telling you what I see. That is not evidence-based. This is just my opinion. Now, that study wasn't perfect because it could be a contradictory finding because of the type of therapeutic exercise, but it is fascinating. And no, we don't have more research on it, so who knows?